Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pixie Friday. Can't see, man. The sun is so bright. Alright, that's better. So we're going to be working on a Warren 2500 ATV winch. It was given to me by a customer about a year ago. Said it wasn't working, didn't need it anymore. So it's just been sitting in the back of my truck for probably a year. Uh, going to tear into it today, see if it's brushes or if it's the windings on the motor are bad. Stick around and show you how it's done. So the first thing we gotta do is to get these two 10 mil bolts out. Before I brought it over here, I took the cables to a battery and touched one to the positive, one to the negative, and it doesn't really matter, you know, which you can, you can swap them up, as long as you're just doing these wires, or you can take these wires off and just stick a positive and negative jumper cable or something, and uh, depending on which way they're hooked up, it'll make the motor spin forward or reverse, and this one did nothing, it, it did absolutely nothing, so I'm guessing somewhere in here there's a contact broke, or the brushes are seized up or something but we'll we'll open it up and take a look and I went and got a load of salt the other day for the cows and I had it in the back of my truck I forgot this is in the back of my truck and one of the bags is busted so now it's starting to rust And that's pretty rusty. So that means water and stuff's been getting inside of that motor. Let's see if we can pry it open. She is rusted up. And there's still water in there. It, it did rain last night. So, obviously, somewhere there's a seal or an o ring or a gasket or something that wasn't doing its job. You can see there the rust. That's not completely stuck. I mean, it's still moving. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Let's see in there. Magnets covered in rust too. The brushes don't look too terrible. Yeah, I think the brushes are alright. Springs are fine. The brushes are fine. Looks like it just got really rusty in there. And that could have happened for me with the salt a couple weeks ago. Or it could have been like that for a while. If it wasn't working when he gave it to me, gave it to me. I'm guessing it's been like that for a while. So I think I'll take some time and try to clean this. I may look online and see how much a replacement one is. You know, if they're not but just a couple bucks, I'll probably just get a replacement. Ooh, that brush may be stuck. 
Man, Rust is a is a bad dude. It's going to take some time to clean all that out. So I just found something else that was kind of cool. I've not messed with winches a whole lot, so don't uh, don't make fun of me if this is something everybody should know. So I put it in engaged instead of free spool. And then I put the windings back in there, and if you turn it, it's moving the moving the drum. Turn it back the other way. The drum moves the other way. So the drum's not messed up and the gears and stuff aren't messed up, which is good to know. So now I'm going to put it back together and see how it does. So this part was kind of a pain, but I couldn't get a good angle with my camera. Getting the brushes and everything back in there. So there's springs underneath each one of these brushes, like that. You put the spring in, and put the brush on top of it. You kind of have to hold them, hold them all in place. And then the smooth end goes down on top of them. You got to make sure everything spins freely, and make sure all the brushes are on top of the springs and didn't jump out. Then we gotta put the magnets back on there. Okay, so there's a gap here, maybe an inch between the magnets and the outside, and then this side's pretty pretty close. The gap side goes down, I guess, to get this gap here. Slide that down and be careful, because it'll suck the suck the uh, windings up inside there and jerk them out of your out of your brushes or mash the mess out of your finger and there's a little line here and dent and there's a, a gap there so that'll line up there and mash in and then Bring your drum over, and the same thing. There's another line indention here, and it'll go with a indention there. And this, it's got two flat sides, so you got to make sure it matches inside of here. Spin it until it's pointed the same direction. And put your bolts back in. Okay, so here's something else I just learned. These two go in here like this, and inside this, there's nuts, kind of, they're square, squared off nuts. 
but they're not welded or fixed to anything. They're just kind of free floating around in there. So if you, when you pulled, when I pulled the motor off and set it on its side, those nuts just kind of went wherever the heck they wanted. So I had to shine a light through these holes and spin the drum, all that stuff, until I could see those nuts and then catch them like this with one of these bolts. And then I, so they were both together because I had it laying on the side. So I spun it till I could catch one and held it. And then a 3 8 extension fits perfect inside that squared off part. So I spun it until I could see opposite of this one. I could see that nut. Then I can stick this bolt in there. And I can grab it. Maybe they're supposed to be fixed in there. And I'm sure you could pull these Allens off and see everything. But I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. So now I gotta. I don't even know if I put those in the right place. I finally got this back on there. After trying and trying, I, I don't even know what to show you how to make it any easier. Just good luck. But tighten these back down. Now I'm gonna take it over to my battery, hook it up, see if it works. Nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. I know I couldn't show everything, especially on reassembly. The part was kind of a bear, but got any questions or anything, need me to show something a little better. I am going to keep this winch. I'm going to find something to mount it to. Um, maybe I can go into a little more detail. Still got to get a solenoid. He had the switch, the rocker switch, so I've got that. I just got to get a solenoid. Seems to be working, and the cable is, is kind of locked up in there. Looks like he let it wind over itself in the wrong wrong direction or something. So I have to mount it and put a come along on it or tie it to a tree or something and, and put a lot of pressure on pulling it. But thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you next time.